Hi everyone, my name is Akriti. Thank you so much for coming back to another Venice Daily Code walkthrough with me. Today we're going to talk about the question number 269, which is Alien Dictionary. And this is how it is talked about in um, Lead Code. There is a new alien language which uses the Latin alphabet. However, the order among the alphabets is unknown to you. You receive a list of non-empty words from the dictionary where the words are stored lexographically by the rules of the new language. Derive the orders of the letters in this language. So this is a very classic example of um, a lead code problem where you're supposed to solve it using an algorithm, but the description is kind of vague. So you have to figure out what surely it means. And like every other walkthrough, we're trying to, we are going to try and understand what the input and output look like so that we can come up with the solution for this question. Um, I really like this question. Uh, I was asked this question during one of my interviews and I did not know this question existed. I had never seen it before, mostly because it is marked as lead code hard. And to be very honest, I try and stay away from hard questions as much as I can. So I was very surprised when I got this question in one of my interviews, but I was able to solve it by the end of it, which always helps me reiterate my point that um, knowing the algorithm and knowing how to solve a problem is much more important than knowing how to solve that exact problem because if you've done enough practice, if you know how to deduce the algorithm from the problem statement that is given to you and if you know how to solve the problem, you will be great. So let's come back to the question. So one of the examples that is given to us is that say um, this is our alien language and the order of words from the dictionary is this wrt wrf ERETT, rftt and the order of words is wertf so first let's clarify what this means like so for example um if i had to translate this into the language that we know and the alphabetical order that we know so if it was say apple ball cat what they're trying to say is that since we know ABC is the order of the word and that's how we're able to arrange these words in alphabetical order. Right now what we've been given is apple ball cat and we want to find what ABC in this case is. So in this particular question, this is our apple ball cat dog so on and this is the ABC that we're supposed to deduce. Now if I just had apple ball cat and I didn't know it was ABC, how would I find out? Uh, what exactly my alphabetical order of those alphabets is. So for these, it's very simple. Um, I can just see A, B, C, they're all different words. A comes before B, B comes before C, so that means they are in order. However, if I had something like apple and I had something like assert, then A and A are the same, but P comes before S. So that's how I would know that P will probably come before S in the alphabetical order. And then I don't really know anything about the rest of the letters. Is that correct? Similarly, this is how I can deduce the alphabetical order. Now, there could be more alphabets, just that I don't know about them. So I'm just going to arrange the alphabets, which are there in this particular list, into an alphabetical order. So similarly, I go through WRT and WRF. W and W are the same. R and R are the same. But T comes before F. So I'm going to know that T comes before F, correct? Then I'm going to check W, R, F and E, R, T. W and E are different. So I know that W comes before E. Then between E, R and E, T, T, E and E are the same, but R comes before T. So I know that R comes before T. And then I come here, E, T, T and R, F, T, T. E comes before R, so E comes before R. Now if I color code it, so R is green. Um, there's no other R. So maybe I can say that uh, maybe I can reduce these. I don't really need these for now. So um, E comes before R and R comes before. So E comes before R, R comes before T. So maybe I can say E comes before R, R comes before T. And I also know T comes before F, T comes before F and then W comes before E. Now, is there an algorithm that we know how to solve this? It comes in my head just because I talked about it yesterday. But even if it didn't, maybe just having deduced it to this can help us see that what we are trying to do is that we have certain nodes, which are all of these alphabets. And there is a connection between these nodes, right? 
and in the alphabet we know that if a comes before b then b cannot come before a so maybe what do we have that's between nodes and edges it is either a tree or it is a graph right so this is one thing that we know then the other thing that we know or it could be a linked list for that matter but um for some reason in my head the first thing that would come is it is either going to be a tree or it's going to be a graph and then from this particular concept that we discussed here i know that it is acyclic so there are no particular uh, cycles in this um, example or in this problem that i'm trying to solve so i know that it's directed because the edges are going from one alphabet to the other so i know it's directed i know it's acyclic i can assume that it's a dag and what are the different kinds of problems that i know uh, or algorithms that i know that i can use on dags one of the biggest ones is a topo sort um again this comes to me because i've had enough experience and enough practice and hopefully this will come to you too but just seeing that i have an acyclic graph that i'm trying to work on and i have um directed edges and what i'm trying to do is find an ordering and that's exactly what topo sort helps me to do that's what i'm going to use to solve this problem and it makes a lot of sense if i'm able to form a graph between all of these uh, nodes which are each alphabet at one time i'm going to be able to solve the alphabetical order by finding the path in that topo sort now it is marked as a lead code hard question and that's what i want to talk about right now topo sort in itself is not a hard algorithm one because if you know the pseudo code or even better if you know the concept it's going to be very easy to write the pseudo code and that's what we discussed in yesterday's post uh, which was about what topological sort actually is and the concept behind it and then i think the hard problem is essentially in how to build the graph because in this question we are not necessarily given the graph to solve this problem so if we can use these words and then build a graph we should be able to do it but then um if you go step by step like i was trying to go when i was trying to deduce abc from apple ball cat and then wertf from um these words that are given to us we can essentially use the same thing to build the graph how is that let us take the first three words wrt wrf and er w r t w r f and then e r correct so what i was doing was every alpha alphabet is going to be a node so i'm going to take the first word and the second word and i was trying to compare both of them so w is a node and i'm going to compare the alphabets until they're the same because i can't really know the ordering from wr and wr right i don't really know anything r could be before w w could be before r i don't really know but when there is a difference in character between the first word and the second word that's when i realized that okay t comes before f so w is a node r is a node i know nothing about them t is a node and f is a node and i do know that there is an edge that forms between t and f and that t comes before f similarly between w r f and e r um w and e i'm lucky um i already have the first word which forms um a difference between the two words so i know i can have another node which is e and then w comes before e and then i can continue this for all the sets of the words and form the graph once i have the graph i just have to write the code uh, for writing a topo sort and i'm going to have my solution so i hope this question helps you understand that even though a question might be marked as hard if you understand if you're able to understand the algorithm that can be used to solve that question and essentially you're able to deduce the algorithm from all of the fluff that might be given in a lead code algorithm it's going to help you solve the question and um even further helps me um say that having a toolbox of all of these algorithms having a technical toolbox that can help you in interviews might just be a bet bet um i look forward to your questions and i will add the pseudo code for this problem in my blog post thanks for watching